Beyond the Badge is brought to you by the Edina Crime Prevention Fund and Edina Market in Delhi. Welcome to Beyond the Badge, a program about the inner workings of the Edina Police and Fire Departments. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sergeant Brian Hubbard. The Edina Police and Fire Departments recently recognized three people whose quick actions saved a man's life at the Southdale YMCA. Edina TV's Dietrich Nissen spoke with those involved and has the story. And we're here today to recognize and give thanks to a few of the YMCA members. Weeks before this award ceremony, Dawn Ingvelson was simply on her way to work out. I had to make a quick stop before I went into yoga and I saw this commotion going on. Sari Sanchez was picking her kids up from daycare. I was just sitting there kind of relaxing and um, I just saw like all the, the commotion. And Steve Curry was pedaling through a spin class. Uh, we were 45 minutes into the class. When all three were given a chance to save Gary Smith, who had stopped breathing and collapsed during the class. Uh, I was on the other side of the room and I heard um, just kind of a crash or a bang. And I just remember um, somebody saying we should start CPR, so we moved the bikes out of the way. And so um, somebody took over CPR and then I ran to the door and said, can you somebody grab the AED box? They had just gotten the AED and um, the other gentleman was starting to apply them a little flustered, so I kind of just jumped in and helped him out, put the pads on, and um, started doing compressions because it advised for compressions. And um, we had to do, I think, like two cycles of compressions, and then I started getting a little tired. And, and I stepped in when another gal was tired and administered compressions, and before you know it, he was sitting up and he was talking and breathing and it was it was a miracle. And while the moment had a deep emotional impact for the three rescuers. I made it out to the, my van and just kind of lost it. It was amazing. It's rewarding. You feel good about it. Smith can barely recall the class. We were about halfway through, I think. A couple hours later I woke up in the hospital. Although he wasn't able to thank them in person, Smith wanted to make sure these three heroes knew he appreciated their efforts. Personally thank them for stepping up. And fortunately we had some people that were experienced that stepped up. And, you know, to my benefit, thank you. What more, what more can you say? A small token of thanks may be these gifts from the YMCA and certificates of merit from the city, but the real reward is saving someone else's life. In Edina, Dietrich Nissen, Edina TV. Has the story. Smith says he is still undergoing rehabilitation but can't wait to get back to working out. If you're interested in learning CPR or how to use an AED, an automated external defibrillator, courses are available through the local American Red Cross or the American Heart Association. For more than a decade, the Edina Police Department has carried the Special Olympics torch from Eden Prairie to Richfield as a part of a fundraising effort. This year was no exception. All right, I'm gonna shake your hand. <laughs> Officers and staff joined Chief Nelson to carry the torch five miles across Edina. Each year, the department is able to raise between one and nine thousand dollars for the Special Olympics. One of the great things about Special Olympics is it encourages people with intellectual disabilities to participate in a, in a sporting competition, and it helps them grow physically, mentally, and socially. Midsummer is a time to celebrate our country's independence with food, family, and the topic of this month's safety message, fireworks. It's no coincidence that more fires are reported on the 4th of July than any other day of the year. Nearly half of those fires relate to the use of fireworks. In Minnesota, the use of aerial fireworks is illegal and dangerous. Those who are caught using them can expect to face up to one year of jail and fines of up to $3,000. However, legal fireworks are not completely safe. Be sure to take extra precautions and always have adult supervision while lighting fireworks. If you go back to the basics, you're, you don't want to be in close, close proximity to something that's going to blow up. So you want to be, distance yourself from those, you know, approach them low from the side, light them that way. Don't hold on to them, don't point them at people, don't point them at, at uh, buildings. Uh, you know, be careful of, of where uh, the, the fallout area is. 
Uh, that's one of the terms that that they use for professional fireworks is you know they have a, like a fallout zone and so they, they, they consider where are the fireworks going to land. If you have questions about firework safety, please contact the Edina Fire Department. On behalf of the City of Edina's public safety team, thanks for tuning in to learn a little bit more of what goes on beyond the badge. Until next time, stay safe.